Hi there. Recently, OPI, um, they started advertising for a product, uh, the, their new gel nail polish. And on my Facebook page, I've been getting a lot of questions about it. And so I, I'm going to make this video and I'm going to talk about uh, all the different types of gel nail polish you can get and if it's worth it, how much it costs, and um, what's suitable for your needs because not all gel nail polishes are the same. So I'm actually not going to start with the OPI one. I'm going to start with just a gel top coat that I'm, I have on right now. So my nails look like this. So as you can hopefully see, there's absolutely no chipping on them. And I have had my nails like this for I think a little over a week now and there is no chipping. So this top coat um, I got from Sally Beauty Supply. It's called Barriel Professional Advanced Gel Top Coat. So that's what the box looks like. And this is the product inside. Uh, this cost about ten dollars, which is really good. And uh, so it says it's a glo gloss finish, uh, finishing coat, easy to apply and remove, and it has no for held, sorry, no formaldehyde, toluene, or DD, DBP. Sorry, tongue twister there. And it says it takes three minutes to dry. So the only problem that I have with this top coat is that it doesn't take three minutes to dry. It takes more than that because I, I find that it stays tacky longer. But if you, if you wait it out, it's definitely worth it. And what's great about this is that unlike other gel nail polishes, you don't need to do any curing in UV lice or anything. It's like a regular top coat. You just put it on top. And I think... Out of all of my all of the things I'm going to talk about, this one is my favorite, even though it has a longer drying time. And in case you're wondering, underneath, I don't have anything special on like long lasting. I just I have two Sally Girl nail polishes on. They look like that. And then my base coat is just my everyday base coat that I use that I got from Sally Beauty Supply. So, um, the other thing that I like about this is that it's also safe for your nails You because it's a top coat, you know, you don't need to do any filing of your nails at all. You just put it right on top, and it's very easy to apply. It's a good consistency, so I think it's really great. So, the next one that I'm going to talk about is the the um, gelish nail polishes. You can get those from Salad Beauty Supply as well. This is what the bottle looks like. I don't have any, but I've done a lot of research on it and I've gone through everything that you need to know about it. And I have to say that because there are so many steps using gel nail polish, it can get very expensive. So, I have all the lists of all the money that it would cost. So, um, first of all, you need to put a pH bonder on the bottom to dry out your nail so that you can then use the foundation base gel. Then you'll use the color and then you'll need the top coat. So, the bonder costs about $5, foundation um, base costs $20 color costs about 15 and the top gel uh, top coat costs 15 so for that whole set you'll be spending about 55 70 and that is not including the UV light that you need to get so you can get different price range from UV light you can there's like one you can get 19 60 or 400 and so it takes 15 minutes to cure in this um, UV light, but just think that if you add those prices for, to the $55.70 for all the products, like the $19 one, it goes up to $74.70. The uh, $60 one, or about there, goes up to $115.65, and the $400 one goes to, um, yeah, $455.70. So that's a lot of money to spend, and I think that unless you really are committed to using them, it's I think it's just too much. It, um, it, it will last two weeks, and the bottle that I already showed, this bottle, it's um, 9 millimeters, and it said that the bottle should last of about 15 to 20 times, like if you do your nails completely, you should be able to do them 15, times, 15 to 20 times before the product runs out. The other problem with this product is that you need to um, like 
have, uh, I'm sorry, you need to like file your nails, the surface of them to make it stick, and this can ruin your nails. And then there's also a soak off gel, so when you ha when you take it off, it, it removes in about 15 minutes, but you're pretty much soaking your nails in pure acetone. So you're going to be filing down the surface and then soaking them in pure acetone, and that's so bad for your nails. I don't use acetone remover. I make sure that I stay away from it. So unless you're, you're okay with your nails being like that, I wouldn't use it. Um, the next one is the getting it done in a salon. Now, when it comes to nails, I've only ever been to a salon, a salon once in my life. It was a birthday present from my cousin because I always thought that it was ridiculous how expensive it was. Like, I can buy so many bottles of nail polish. I can buy, like, four bottles of nail polish for the price of getting my nails done, and I can do them pretty well myself. At the time, I couldn't, but I can now. And um, so I'm, ge I'm generally... I, I think that it's good to do them at home, but when it comes to gel, it is so much cheaper to have them done professionally, because to have them fully done, like the full treatment, it costs about thirty to forty dollars. I looked up a couple nail salons that that's about the average price, and if you want touch ups, it costs from like twenty to thirty dollars. Um, and so that is a big difference than the absolute cheapest that you can buy and use yourself, which would be seventy four seventy, compared to even if you're paying forty dollars. That's a big difference. That's almost half. Um, so that that's really amazing to me that that's how overpriced and how many products you need. That it's actually better to get it done in a salon. Um, again, they will. It will ruin your nails, you need soak off, and for them it's 15 to 30 minutes of soak off. So again, you'll probably be ruining your nails. So then for the OPI color that they're advertising now, like the, the new stuff, I don't think that you can buy it um, just by itself for now. I, like I looked online a lot of them, it was only selling if you have had a license to a salon, that sort of thing. But if you can buy them, they were, they cost $26.99 each for their little thing and it cost, it's six milliliters in the tiny little thing that you get for the OPI one. So, um, those are the professional ones and the prices, so I'm going to go back to my last one, which is another one that's a lot easier, and they are th from the OPI Texas collection. They're like jelly, or they're actually called sorbet finish, and they just look like regular nail polish bottles. There are six of them that you can buy. I had a list of them, sorry. Okay, so, um, they are Big Hair, Big Nails, uh, Do You Think I'm Taxi, Guy Meeks Galveston, Houston We Have a Purple, which is this one, um, uh, Too Hot Pink to Hold Them, and Y'all Come Back Here, which is this one. Um, okay, so these ones, they ca they're they like the regular price for our OPI nail polishes, so where I come from, it's about 8 to $10. Um, oh, by the way, this is all in Canadian money, all these prices that I'm giving. Um, so when I used them, they lasted for about a week and a half without chipping. And like I went to an amusement park, I did like a lot of stuff, and they stayed. They were really good. The only problem with them is because they're jelly, they require more coats to, so that they're you can't see through them. Like it's the pure color, it takes a lot more coats because you can see the jelliness. Like, it really does look like you're applying jello to your nails, but they have a great finish and they really do last a long time. So they they are really good nail polishes and they're a much better alternative. And I think that if you use this with this new top coat, like I haven't tried this, but that would last a really long time, I think. So that is something else to consider. They're easy to find. They're a lot cheaper. You don't need to buy a million things. You just use the regular base coat and then that, and then you can use a regular top coat. In fact, I think when I use them, I didn't even put a top coat on. It was that good that I didn't need to, and it still lasted like a week and a half. So, um, that is pretty much it. I think that, um, the the gel nail polishes, I don't think that I'm going to get into them very much. Um, 
I, I've been reading all the reviews and people really like them, but I don't like destroying my nails. I can't handle it. I don't want them to be destroyed. It takes three months for your nails to completely grow out. Like, I think that's like a minimum of three months. And I love the way my nails are, so I'm going to keep them the way that I have them. So, um, I hope that that helps. I, I've done a lot of research, and if I'm wrong with anything, just tell me. But, you know... I, I want to learn about this too because other people who have actually used them are definitely going to have different opinions than I have so if you want to tell me anything that I miss go on and tell me and um, I hope that this helped because a lot of people were asking me and I think that the, the product that I have on now is so good that it definitely it needs to be talked about and um, also remember that when I'm talking about all the prices for like the gel ones, not the OPI ones, those are the prices from Sally Beauty Supply. So, um, thanks, I hope that I helped, and have fun doing your nails.